we're going to go into the main content. We're going to go into the new section first. First and foremost, we have our sweet, sweet overlord. A lot of different updates. Um, I'll scroll. Yeah. Oh, see, look, like there are five different updates from 0 0.2.1 all the way up to uh, 0 0.2.5. What it comes down to is first and foremost, they've introduced a shard factory. So you get shards for runes and upgrading and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It costs a lot of resources. Check it yes, out it if you haven't. Holy crap, I haven't even unlocked mine yet. Um, there's some. There's a referral system that's available now. Uh, hero experiences were changed and adjusted. Some like fine tuning, right? Um, and then a big one was the untrained population changes. So you can't just hoard untrained populations because everyone was losing soldiers. So the strap became hold on to your your untrained pop and then blow them all to do like attacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. um which was an interesting strat but no more so <laughs> but a lot of very good changes in my opinion what do you what do you think yeah of course uh i think the shard factory was the biggest one um allowing you to use your excess resources to turn them into something like the shards yeah, which are like used metal. to upgrade your runes yeah or metal to get shards and yeah. stuff like that um and then they you know the small tweaks with like user customization to make it more mmoe so you can have a yep. bio uh and be cringe just like in your simple mobile you can Heck be cringe yeah. and overlord uh, it up. and let yeah let everyone know your favorite song of the day and yeah I, it's it's good it's it's tweaks that are needed there's more coming though so um they're far from completed with this beta phase uh, there's a lot of uh exploitation going on mm. uh and strategies that are kind of like stonewalling the community and there's also the issue where just like these pvp games i don't know how an update would address it uh but there's like a zerg going on with the kingdom guild uh and we've had some of our members even talk about how like kingdom can they're the number one guild in the game and they can take their players target people and then just obliterate them till they have no more soldiers with the you know the the stealing of the the soldiers so they do this they they target players and they just take everything they have that's actually really smart yeah, and they dismantle guilds that way. And apparently, I think it happened to Elemental Wars, who's in our guild. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Uh, oh no, Ice Neo too. Ice. It happened to Ice Neo. So. Dude, we should do that. That's a smart. That's a smart strat. These strats no, that are coming out is are... literally an issue. Okay. Anyway, that's what I think. Uh, we have more to come. Uh, it's just it shows how busy this dev is, um, or how quick they are with making changes. They are but, very yeah. fast at making updates and addressing issues within the community. They're on top yeah. of it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's Overlord. Uh, if you're ready, we can move on to Idle MMO. I'll just go down the list I made. It's kind of okay. like it's kind of like hectic, but we have 20.4. It was just server performance improvements. Yep. Um, so that was that was like just a glance over. But version 21.0. Yeah. Uh, they added an an item inspection page, Crazy Fi. Uh, so you could see like the total like the total history of these items, and apparently. Uh, being able to see the market history of this item uh, led to the next update, which yeah. is 21.1, temporarily disabling the market trading between alt characters because of the market manipulation due to the market history. <laughs> so people are taking the market history and they're saying, thanks, Mike, we're just going to screw this even further. That's uh, like uh, wild. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, <laughs> how are you even how are you even twisting it to your advantage? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> oh man they're probably uh, like i don't know how like because you only have so many alts like how are you able to absolutely dominate in the yeah. market like that i don't know yeah it's wild and so and then also performance improvements um the app is still it's feeling a little bit better yeah it's feeling a little bit better and they're it's growing little... really fast so it's they got to be doing a yeah. lot of maintenance to keep expanding it yeah so that's i don't know uh nothing too crazy here i just really I thought the exploitation is just like very, very on point for an MMO community. You know what I mean? So this is the biggest new segment yeah. uh, of tonight and probably of Simple Mo's history for 2024. Uh, and that is the event announcement. So Crazy Five, if you want to lead us into what the event is called and what is it about? Retromania, the Arcan Disaster, starts this Friday, which is tomorrow, August 16th, 2024 ending august 30th 2024 if my math adds up i think that might be two weeks uh here's a little information for you sweet cheeks 
Uh, the people of Arkin are in dire need of your assistance. An otherworldly portal has formed, releasing mystical monsters of mayhem upon their town. The portal is set to close soon, in two weeks. As if you and your fellow adventurers are undertaking some sort of arcane test of your abilities. Along the way, you'll collect Nebula Cores, which find a variety of themed cards and avatars for your collection. Will you protect the world of Simple MO, or will you allow it to crumble under your watch? Crumble. This event will have no location, shop, or event materials. Thank goodness. Instead, <laughs> this event will randomly drop Nebula Cores, which, while you play the game, regardless of what you're doing, you don't get an option. You will play this event. By it's opening awful. these cores, you have a chance to unlock exclusive cards, avatars, and even unique tools. There are four types of cores to discover, each one more powerful and rarer than the last. The rarest core offers the highest chance of obtaining the most exclusive items, such as tools. But we're all tools in our heart. Events and art design are managed entirely by Hereth and Kibin. Hereth. <laughs> I can never get that name right. I uh, first and foremost, Hereth. easily this this summary uh, made by AI. So congrats to you, Kibin. We all know you can't type that good. Uh <laughs> No, but Nebula Corps, really? How freaking original, dude. Was this like a Marvel movie? Interesting stuff. So this this guild was unnamed. It was TBD for the longest yeah. time. Uh, but just a couple days ago, they finally announced what it was. <laughs> and it's got this retro... It's called Retro Mania because... And look at the aesthetic of the cards mm -hmm. um, and how they're... I mean, if you know anything about Hearth, Hearth, like all their avatars are almost in this aesthetic. Uh, so I, I call it like the old like Walt Disney aesthetic. It's just very creepy. Um, well, she's also very creepy too. So anyway, what makes this very, really unique is that like crazy virus screen, there's no centralized location there. It's, it's fluid wherever you're at. It's kind of like the car, most card events, right? Like it's like in your actions, you're receiving something. Uh, but what makes this really special is that, Keeban and Hirith, two members of the community. Keeban was a mod. Hirith, I think, is a current mod. Uh, people with like deep history with the game were able to do this within Simple Mill. Yeah. Uh, normally, that's not the case. Events are strictly ran by the admin and whoever's supporting the admin. The art's, you know, done by the Simple Mill artist. So this is very out of norm um, for Simple Mill. So. We've been saying the event system needs to be shaken up. Uh, maybe this is a step in that direction where it's just like something completely different in design. I am super excited for it. There are a total of 16 cards here, uh, and I hope I get all of them. There's also four avatars and four tools. So that is the Retromania event. That concludes the news for Simple Mill, and that concludes the news for the lightweight MMOs that we're currently covering. There's no mm -hmm. there's no updates for Ironwood RPG, mm -hmm. uh, and we don't have our eyes on any other games at this time. But yeah. uh, thank you. Thank you for, for participating in all that, and thanks to the VOD squad who's going to watch that later. 